guys, I took that brush system out of the Vortex. I put it in here. I've already done the drive, okay? I'm telling you what, you're about to be crazy impressed. This thing drives like a high-end racer. I'm not exaggerating. I'm gonna show it to you on the table real quick and let you guys see it. Uh, I've done no tuning to the suspension, nothing. Get ready to be impressed. Let's go. This is after the run, okay? So this is exactly the way I ran it. You can see I didn't put anything into here for shocks. And honestly, it does need a few spacers on the back. You guys are gonna see it can also use some sway bars. So, but you know, that's something to come later. But let's get this thing outside, man. <laughs> Dude, this thing runs so good, let's go. All right, guys, are you ready for this? Oh man, this is what we needed. There's a lot of fury in the fury. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna rock this system right here. I haven't trimmed any body panels, so still gonna hear some rubbing on that. Ow! That was not planned. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, this is it. Oh, it runs so good. I wish I hadn't smacked that pole though. Wow, that was actually good flight, wasn't it? I want to leave this system in here. This is awesome. Got a little bit of a push to it, but uh, this is a phenomenal two-wheel drive SCT. And I tell you what, if we race two-wheel drive short course, I'm running this. That, it is running great. Man. I'm impressed, dude. This is on a higher, this is on a much higher level than what I anticipated. This thing's not, this thing is awesome. Wow. I just got to drive it right. Man. See, this thing is performing on a level higher than I even want to take it off the big jump now. I just got to drive it right. Thing sounds great. Woo! Okay, you know what? Guys, if you got a little two wheel drive class, short course class in your group where you race at, get you one of these and put a brushless system on it. I'm telling you right now, get it, do it. If you got the 12 millimeter wheel hexes, uh, tires and stuff like that, just put the 12 millimeter hexes on this. You can get the conversions for that. This thing performs great. I was not expecting this level of performance out of this truck, to be honest with you. And no one, the Gorgon driveline, this thing is bomb proof. This thing's bad to the bone. Oh my goodness. I am, I, I'm blown away. This thing is awesome. Now, it's sliding like crazy here. We'll definitely need a, a tire change. Well, I hate to do it because I think it's on a much higher level now as far as like, like racer status, but I'm going to hit this jump. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna do it just because 
Now, when I had the Vortex out here, I didn't really have the traction. It was obviously in the morning, but let's see if we have enough traction to get this up here. Oh, so that was actually a attempted backflip, which failed. Then I hit the brakes and then I had to hit reverse to bring it come back around, have it come back around flat land. All right. Oh man, and we're stuck. You know, it doesn't even sound like a Gorgon as in like the transmission. This is the same spot I got the other truck stuck at. Man, this is nice. Blind hit. Did I even get that on the camera? I don't know. Let's try it again. Nice. It, you can't beg for a better landing than that. Well, okay, if it would drive off, it would be nice. Man, this thing is nice. This brush has changed everything. Yeah, buddy. If we run two wheel drive short course, I absolutely will be racing this truck. You know what? I know it's gonna sound crazy because I've got that low C short course truck in there. I am half tempted to bring a guest driver out and let them drive both of them and see which one they prefer. I just gotta make sure they're both tired correctly or at least similarly. But as far as power goes, this thing runs really good, man. Guys, I did not expect this level of performance. Honest to goodness, I did not expect it. Um, I ran this in the Vortex and I'm gonna tell you, it was, a, it was a bit of a handful to be honest with you. And this thing, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna make some body mounts for this so we can swap the body out if we need to. Um, as things go on, you're gonna beat this body up. There's all kinds of body options out there. So I'm gonna make some body mounts for that. But guys, uh, this thing does good. I, I, I need to find some sand pedals, that 14 millimeter hex, because honestly, I like the 14 millimeter hex. The reason is, it's not as easy to strip out as a 12. Simple as that. But guys, this thing did great. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I mean, uh, did it catch air like all the SETs? Yeah. But you know what? I, I'm telling you what, um, this thing's done good. Check that description. I'll link it all up down below. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and I cannot say it enough. That was unexpectedly awesome. If you're still one. watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.